Hey guys, welcome to the March 2017 10 Cards 1 Kit from Love From Lizzie. I will include the card unboxing above and below if you're interested to see what came in the kit. Um, you just saw I created card bases. They're all top folding cards. Top folding cards right now are one of my favorite types of folding cards. <laughs> um, so here's card one and I've taken a piece of pattern paper that came in the kit and I am using the stamps and heat embossing them with Simus's stamp antique gold embossing powder. This color embossing powder just went really well with the colors of the kit. So just kind of creating a cascade of butterflies. And like the past couple videos of my 10 cards one kit, I am, um, when I start each card, I have all the supplies ready so the video isn't so long but if you have any questions let me know so heat emboss that and then go ahead and add some foam tape to the back of this panel and adhere it to my card base and then I take one of the stickers that came in the kit um, and use my embossing bag to get rid of the stickiness this works out perfectly if you don't want to use it as a sticker. I wanted to create some dimension, so I went ahead and add some foam tape. You could have kept the sticky on the sticker, but I just went ahead and got rid of it. It doesn't really matter. Go ahead and adhere that down, and that's it for card one. Love that one. That's probably one of my favorites. For card two, I'm taking this music note, uh, music sheet piece of cardstock that came in the kit or pattern paper and if you watched Lizzie's I think it was her unboxing um, she had kind of put out the challenge to make a masculine card with this kit and I ended up actually making a couple just by accident so this one was the first one and when I made this one I did have a masculine theme in mind so I'm using the ink and inking up the edges and I'm also using this Tim Holtz distress blade whatever it's called I'm not sure what it's called but you can use scissors you can use um, if you're careful use scissors you can use your fingernail piece of sandpaper just anything to rough up the edges so I'm blending in some ink on the edges and then using that tool to kind of fray the edges a little to me it reminds me of like an old piece of sheet music and then once I'm done with that, there is a stamp that came in the kit that um, is a script. It, you can't read what it says, though. It's meant to look that way. And it's great for mixed media. So here I am taking that stamp and I stamp it off because I don't want it too dark. And this is a pigment ink pad, so it is quite juicy. Stamp it off on my piece of paper and then stamp it on the card. And then I take another piece of the music note pattern paper and go ahead and stamp my sentiment birthday wishes. And I heat emboss it in the antique gold embossing powder again. And then I will fussy cut it. Now when I made my card bases, I, I believe they're a little bit longer than 11 and a half. So what I do is I trim them to 11 and a half. Um, and so I had these little strips left over, and this is one of the strips. And I go ahead and take it and take the ink pad and just rub the ink pad over that strip. Or I'm saying 11 and a half. Uh, US is 8 and a half by 11, so I trim them to the cardstock to 11 inches. Sorry. Go ahead and distress the edges. Add some foam. No, I have some double sided tape from the Love from Lizzie shop I'm using here. It's um, like a tear and tape, score tape. I, I just love this type of tape because it tears. You don't have to cut it, it makes things a lot easier. Go ahead and hear that down. And sorry about my big head. I really need to work on that because more and more of my videos, I'm getting my crazy hair in the way. trim off the edges and then I go ahead and adhere that little birthday wishes with some foam tape and adhere that in the center of that strip and the ink 
on that strip it almost looks kind of it's a matte finish it almost looks leathery I don't know I thought it was really cool I like this card a lot and that's it for card two card three I have taken one of my circle dies cut the center out and I'm going to take my card base and take that little floral flourish whatever you want to call it stamp and I'm going to do some heat embossing so I'm placing my pattern paper for placement to make sure I stamp my stamp in the correct spot and I'm using my Versamark because I'm going to heat emboss it with that gold embossing powder again and go ahead and heat that I love watching this embossing powder in particular heat up because the the outcome it's so pretty really is pretty so I go ahead and remove the foam tape from the back of my panel and go ahead and hear that down and then I take one of the stickers again and get rid of the stickiness and then I add some what do I add foam squares and I go ahead and put them on the little sentiment and then adhere the sentiment down And with this video, and I add a couple of the pearl um, enamel dots, with this video I'm using a lot of the add-ons. So if you want to know what was an add-on, what wasn't, check out the unboxing. The kit is sold out. However, if you participated in the blog hop, which ends March 5th, you can have a chance to win the kit. So definitely check that out. There is a previous video um, about the blog hop, which I will link at the end. So here is a piece of pattern paper. And I go ahead and take this other piece of pattern paper and adhere it on top. Trim up the edges. And then I have um, this silver mirror cardstock that came in the kit. I cut a strip to put right there in between the, where the two pattern papers meet and I used a Nuvo glue pen from the Love From Lizzie shop which I really love it just I like the way the way it, it it ministers the glue which is nice light touch and I can just drag it along and it's perfect and there's no clogging like with adhesive glue so I go ahead and take this paper flower accordion heart and adhere that down and then here I'm taking a sentiment popping it up with some foam tape and I'll go ahead and adhere that down the accordion hearts I believe are an add-on I really like them they're very very nice and I thought they well they do they match the kit perfectly because the paper matches the hearts and that's it for card four for card five, I am taking one of my Spectrum Noir clear glitter. What am I talking about? <laughs> my Spectrum Noir alcohol markers, and I am inking up the um, peel offs. The peel offs are white, but the paper and the color scheme of the kit is more of a cream. So I don't know what color marker that was, FS or something, something. Um, and I go ahead and color in five I think I did five or six of the peel offs and I go ahead and put them on this piece of cardstock and I put them all the way across I just show two of them so you don't have to sit there watching me if you do this I was using the uh, I guess the nib in it's better to use the chisel <laughs> hello the chisel is a lot bigger and I was able to color uh, several at a time at once so there it is to the left with all the peel offs that I had colored and it matched perfectly. Go ahead and adhere this pattern paper down, trim up the edges because God forbid I adhere it straight. And then go ahead and add some foam tape. Now you see where I folded over, or this is just double sided tape. I folded over the peel offs just to make sure they were nice and secure. Usually I would cut them off and save the extras, but. I didn't want to take a chance of them peeling up for whatever reason. They probably won't, but just in case, um, it just offered a little bit more security by folding them over. 
So I'm taking one of the wood frames and I'm putting one of the sticker sentiments behind the wood frame. And I go ahead and put use my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue to adhere that to the card. And then I go ahead and add one of those pretty little butterflies. And that is it. So for card six, I'm using a scallop die I had cut this paper with. Add some foam tape. Adhere that to my card base. And then I take one of the sticker sentiments. The kit came with the sticker sentiments, but you could also purchase another set if you wanted to add more on. And this ribbon came in the kit, so I just cut two little strips and I put some double sided tape on the back of my sentiment. And then I adhere those two strips of ribbon to the back. So it, it appears as if they're tied, but they're not. Trim up the ends and then go ahead and add some foam tape to kind of pop it up. And then the kit came with some really cute buttons. And I went ahead and took three of the light pink flower buttons and then I took the enamel dots, which the enamel dots are add-ons. And I added them to the center to cover the two holes that um, are on the buttons. And then I used my multimedia mat to adhere the buttons to the card. Um, I used a lot because the buttons are slick, so I wanted just to make sure that they had good coverage. But I ended up using too much multimedia mat, especially on the first button I'd glued down. So I had some glue oozing out which I wiped up and thankfully with multimedia matte it's going to dry matte so you won't see it and that is it for card six card seven I am taking this stencil from my stash I bought it to use for Christmas and I never used it so I was glad to pull it out this time and I'm taking a piece of the pattern paper that came in the kit and the pattern paper I'm using is really reminds me of mixed media there's a lot going on with the pattern paper, so I thought the music notes would look really pretty, especially in that cocoa brown ink. And I'm just taking a sponge and uh, blending some of the music note, the stencil. And it's not perfect. I wanted it splotchy. Um, and then I'm using that same sponge to blend the edges. And then the paper has polka dots on it. And I have this, it's a honeycomb stencil that has a, a, an adhesive backing that you can remove. I didn't, I couldn't find a polka dot stencil. I think I got rid of those. So this honeycomb worked fine. And I'm using some of the Nouveau drops, uh, not Nouveau drops, but the Nouveau mousse that came in the kit. And lightly stenciling on blending the Nouveau mousse. And you'll see just, a, it's a light, pretty touch. And I'll show more at the end. But if you saw, I sprayed my Nouveau Mousse with some water to reactivate it. It was dried out, and once I sprayed it, totally worked fine. So definitely do that with your Nouveau Mousse if you're finding it hard to work with. I took one of the frames and I flipped it over and used the wood side instead of the pattern side. And inked it up with the same sponge and the same ink, the Cocoa Brown. I'm going to go ahead and adhere, uh, I mean stamp on my birthday wishes sentiment using my mini Misty. I wanted to make sure that I got a good impression, so that's why I'm using the Misty. And then go ahead and adhere that to my card base. This is another card that I think could pass, uh, pass for a masculine card. I love the way the Nouveau Mousse just added that light touch of green color it's really pretty and here you can kind of see the sheen of the Nouveau Mousse drops in the corners so really like that card for card seven this could be another masculine card and it's really easy to put together um, card eight did I say card seven <laughs> card eight um, 
taking another piece of that mirror cardstock and I took a strip of it to adhere to the left side using that Nouveau glitter pen. I adhere my paper as well. Did I say Nouveau glitter pen? I think I should redo this whole voiceover. <laughs> uh, glue pen and not glitter. Take the, the sentiment, and I didn't want the butterflies because I wanted more of a masculine card, so I just kind of cut them off, leaving the ends kind of at a slant. Go ahead and adhere it to another one of those strips I have left over from when I trimmed my card bases, and then trim those off there. And then I take another piece of the mirror cardstock strip and go in and adhere that down. And then I will pop up my sentiment with some foam tape. And then I take the Nouveau drops that came in the kit and add a few Nouveau drops just for some accents because this card is really, um, I don't want to say plain because plain sounds bad, but it's very uh, simple. Not much going on. And so I had used, I wanted to use the die cuts, but I ended up not even using them. So I saved the die cuts, the butterflies, uh, the two dies come in the kit, and I saved the die cuts and then I said, well, I can use these, the leftover pieces of stencils. So I'm taking the ink, and if you do this, you want to make sure you leave yourself a border around the stencil so you don't um, get ink outside of the stencil, if that makes any sense at all. So I was being very careful not to get ink outside of the butterfly stencil area. And I take that same kind of mixed media pattern paper, ink up some of the butterflies, and then I take the one of the um, sticker sentiments, and I keep the sticky, stickiness on the back. And I have this metallic, gold metallic thread, and I'm kind of making a nest, I think is what people refer to them, just kind of a sloppy um, circular design. And I'm using the stickiness of the sticker to kind of stick the ends to the back of the sentiment and trim it up and kind of adjust it. And so it's kind of hard to see on camera, but in person it looks really good. And then I go ahead and pop it up on a with a piece of foam tape and adhere it to my card. And go ahead and adhere that piece to my card base. And then I add my Spectrum Noir clear glitter pen. I add it to the butterflies I had inked up. So for card 10, I had used a scallop die and went ahead and cut the two ends off of this pattern paper. So then I just have a strip down the center. Go ahead and hear that with some tape adhesive. And then I take these three sticker accordion paper hearts. They're not stickers, but they do have an adhesive back and go ahead and hear those down. And that's that simple. That's it for card 10. <laughs> it doesn't have a sentiment. So I had quite a bit left over. Three full sheets, mirror cardstock, those stickers. There are my scraps from the cards. The ink pad, peel-offs, and then another set of peel-offs, the Happy Mother's Day ones. The two stamp sets, which one of them is an add-on. Two of the frames, Nouveau drops, didn't even use any of the doilies. Stickers, the two dies, and the ribbon the twine and the pearls, the ton of buttons and bows, which I wanted to use but didn't get a chance to, the embellishments, the nouveau mousse, the accordion hearts, um, 
and then here are still shots of each of the 10 cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, let me know what your favorite card was. Part uh, make sure you are participating in the blog hop if you are watching this before March, 3rd, uh, March 5th of 2007. That way you were entered in for a chance to win this kit or you can win 20 pounds to spend in the Love From Lizzie shop which is around 23 or so dollars depending on US dollars depending on what day it is so um let me know if you have any questions about the supplies I used um, I'll gladly get back to you and I will link the unboxing to this video if you want to check that out and I'll catch you next time bye